Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to find good qualified drivers for your trucking business in 2021. Let's begin. So let's go and talk about what happened in 2020 and why we're facing such a big massive driver shortage now and it's supposed to even go bigger. You know, industry experts have predicted that the shortage is actually going to go even further and worse than what we've seen in the last couple of years. And here's why. So what we saw in 2020 was tons of drivers uh, lost their jobs when the first pen, like when the pandemic first hit and they scramble a lot of containers and shipping companies around the ports they went out of uh, they didn't have much loads to haul so these these there were almost like an influx of drivers in the market at the beginning of the pandemic back in like march 2020 so you had more drivers than actually freight and all of a sudden we have more drivers but what slowly happened the fear of like not being able to find grocery and the toilet paper rush everybody wanted to run to the grocery store. So the markets went up for the freight and drivers were still the same in the market. So there was a huge demand of market. So you saw the graph, it went like whoop up and then it went down because we needed so many drivers, the industry could all take it in. But the problem is as the cases started rising, there was more uh, cases circulating and a lot of drivers who were at the age of retirement just retired. They just exited the industry. They didn't want it to haul anymore they were just done. They were like, we don't want to take this risk. And we also noticed that since everything got shut down, all the CDL schools uh, were shut down too. So you had no new drivers coming in and all these drivers are just exiting the industry. So you're left with a very small amount of drivers. And that problem is already carrying into 2021. We've seen that whole thing come into 2021 and about to get worse because a lot more drivers are exiting and a lot less driver are entering because of schools not being open and uh, places being restricted. You know, like even now when the CDL schools that are open are operating at a half capacity. So for trucking businesses who could hire any truck, truck driver at whatever experience level, they're kind of constrained to only tapping into the pool of experienced drivers. So which is hard, which is what every trucking business wants. Now what we're seeing in 2021 is the projections to stay very, very similar and worse. And why is that a lot of drivers, because the spot market is through the roof, we've never seen that many crazy rates for spot loads, most drivers are now converting into owner operators. And owner operators have basically gone and gotten their own authority. Usually in the last century, we saw, the stats say that we saw 4,000 registrations of new carriers every month. Now for the last four months, we've seen over 5,000 drivers being registered as new carriers. And one month there was over 7,500 carriers being registered as new carrier. So you can just imagine why this hole is getting bigger, 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 bigger. Because a lot of these guys are seeing this opportunity of freight market and they're just jumping into it. Now the question comes, how you as a trucking business, if you have a couple of trucks that you're running and they are open, how do you fill them and seed them with the right drivers? So I'm gonna give you five actionable tips that will work in 2021, given the circumstances we have. Tip number one, do not start with trucking job websites, okay? And I preach this all the time that I know and I understand, like whenever you think of job, the first thing you can think of is a job site. You know, you run over there and put a job, uh, job post on there. You know, like that's the worst thing you can do to find drivers. And let me tell you why exactly. That if I was to go right now over to whatever it may be, you can see as soon as you go there and type in CDLA jobs in whatever state you may be, Utah, Montana, New York, you will see 10 million different trucking companies showing up. And probably most of these trucking companies will be offering some kind of heavy sign-on bonus, especially with the driver shortage we have. I've seen trucking fleets that I work personally 
they are offering up to $10,000 sign-on bonus for their driver. It is unheard of. That trucking business has never offered any kind of sign-on bonus in forever. And I've seen similar thing with trucking companies all around US and Canada. So you're competing against big giant sign-on bonuses uh, caked on those sites, uh, on the job sites. And plus you're competing with like super high wage you realize that the contract rates, like these big trucking businesses have contracts with multinational, a big Fortune 500 uh, manufacturers and companies, and they're on a contract. They're not living off spot market. So if you're a small trucking business, you can't compete the wage or the cents per mile they could be offering. It's just impossible, right? Because contract rates right now have boomed to seven, 10 to 15%. Uh, for the last two years, they were just flat and they've just upticked because of the demand and the capacity. So you can't compete with what's being offered. So that's a total no-no. You know, it's it's a bad place for you to start because you're going to get lost in the in 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 the herd there and no driver's going to come to you. Especially when you're a smaller fleet with a couple trucks, even up to like 50 or 80 or 100 trucks. It is very hard to find drivers on the job sites. The second tip I want to give you is if you go and think that a driver recruiter or a placement agency can help you, then you're absolutely wrong. And let me tell you why too, why does this doesn't work? Because here's the thing, these placement agency really don't care about the driver or your trucking company. All they care about is placing a driver. Whichever trucking companies bids and gives them the highest money, that's where they will push the driver, tell them all the fake stories or whatever that driver wanna listen to, they will push them there. Now I'm not saying all the driver recruiters or placement agencies are like that, but most of them operate on that principle. Think about you. Don't you wanna make more money in your business? Absolutely. So why would that guy care about your trucking business? That doesn't happen, right? The other thing is that when you're working with a driver recruitment placement agency, they don't know much trucking than you. You know, you know the insurance costs, you know the fuel costs, you know how much it costs to maintain a truck, you know, you know the tolls, lumpers, all this crap that you have to deal with every single day in order to run a trucking business, right? And then all the other legal uh, BS that you have to live with. They don't care about that. They don't understand all that stuff. They're not able to pitch and convince a driver like you would. You know, I was a driver recruiter in my past life and this is what would happen. If I had five trucking companies and they were like, hey, we need two teams here, we need three teams here, we need three drivers in this area, four drivers in this area. These drivers are applying to me and then I'm pitching them this trucking business. Then I'm like, well, this trucking company is offering this, this trucking company is offering this. They would ask me like, hey, is this company has a dry, um, a cat, a, a, a cab camera which is facing inward or outward. This company has like super single truck, super single tires or duos. This company has so there was like million different questions that drivers want to ask. Legit good drivers. Think about this: like if you're if you're a good professional and you want to make a move to another trucking business or any other profession or like another new job, you're gonna ask questions. You're, you want to know what that person or that company has to offer, and it's very legit for drivers to ask ask those kind of questions. There is no possible way we as humans can remember 10, 5, 2, even 3 trucking companies details, specs to like the, the very nitty gritty. These recruiters have the time give wrong answers to these drivers and ruining a reputation for your trucking business. So stay away, like stay away from these guys. I'm not saying they're all bad, but I'm saying most of them will not work and you'll end up spending money or just working for nothing, okay? So do not get yourself in that kind of deal. It could cost you more than it will help you. So the really, the story comes down to is what are the tips that really work? Here's the tip number three. So what you wanna start off with is get a normal, nice website. By nice, I don't mean like get like some pretty birds and like go hire a designer and get that stuff. I mean to have like a website that's easy to understand and you have drivers where they can go and read about your trucking business and get all the answers before they even talk to someone. That's the best thing you can do for your trucking business. You know, that's the, that's the biggest game changer. Imagine if you are a trucking business in Chicago or New York and you're trying to hire a driver in, uh, in Indiana, then that driver is, gonna first look up on your website, you know? 
they're gonna go and Google ABC Trucking Company or Trucking Company name and see what you're about. And it's not about having pretty pictures and pretty video or uh, a whole bunch of stuff. It's more about getting the info right to them and making them easy to apply if they like what you have to offer. That's the best thing. It's you recruiting while you sleep. That's how I say it. You're recruiting 24 seven digitally through your website, pitching them indirectly, saying exactly what you would if you were to talk with that driver uh, in person. So make sure you spend the time to have this site with all the info. Now here's the good news. I've attached a website for you for free. This is what it looks like. It's professionally designed. I charge over $10,000 to make this exact site and give it to the trucking business. You get it for free just by being on this video as my gift to you. So the first thing you wanna do is like get the website, arrange it to what your trucking business is about and write down all the things that you offer to a trucker, okay? And streamline your application process. Don't make it complicated. And when you grab the free website beneath, you will see all the driver uh, application process properly uh, written and assembled for you. So make sure you go do that. Now, the other thing I wanna tell you is the tip number four. Once you have your website set up, what you wanna do is go set up a business Facebook page, okay? Go set up a business Facebook page for your trucking business. That's where you can basically put all your info and attract drivers on Facebook and reach out to you. So the four tip is set up a business, a Facebook business page. In the future, when we make a video, I will put a card here, but we don't have a tutorial to do so. I'll see if I can find you a tutorial, but it's super easy. You can easily make a Facebook business page. So once you create that page, the next thing that you want to do, which is tip number five and the last action tip, is just record a simple selfie video of yourself holding the phone like this with your truck in the background and just talking, hey, this is Amrit from ABC Trucking, and I wanna invite you to come join our trucking business. We offer 55 cents per mile. We run these, these lanes. If you like what we have to offer, click the link below. So they can click the link and go to your website or they can talk with you right on Facebook. And you'll get way more drivers through that process than anything else. Are there any other 10 uh, tips and tricks that I can tell you? Absolutely. Are they as efficient as what I told you right now, simple and straightforward? No, this is where you want to spend most of your time and do it. This is what is working. Most of the drivers are hanging out on Facebook, not on Instagram, not on TikTok. I'm just saying Facebook and they can apply to you directly. They can talk with you. The beauty with that is that I hear a lot of trucking businesses where they say, hey, uh, Amber, what happens is these drivers apply to me and then I call them back and they never, I never hear back from them. The beauty with you being getting in touch with them, you getting in touch with them from Facebook is you can message them, you can DM them and be like, hey, are you still interested in joining my trucking business? So you have a more follow-up leeway there. You know, like you can do more follow-up, you can chase the driver a little bit more than, uh, than a traditional application so-called thing and have like a real genuine conversation. You know, at the end of the day, it really comes down to if the driver can get all the questions answered from you about joining your trucking business. If they can understand what pay you're offering, what home time, all the, all the things that are holding them back, if you can answer them and have a chat with them, the driver is yours. They're more than happy to make that leap and come over to you. So if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And let me know in the comments, what would you like to know more about the driver recruitment process, how to find drivers fast? Remember, we had over 50 to 60,000 drivers in 2020 alone apply to a handful of trucking companies. So we've spent over, I think a million to $2 million finding and researching what drivers like, what drivers don't like about you putting your message and making them come join your trucking business. So that's going to be ton of value. So let me know in the comments if there's anything that doesn't make sense. Now, if you are a trucking business and you wanna learn more in depth, step by step, how to find any kind of driver, whether it's team drivers, OTR drivers, whatever it may be, I'm hosting a free webinar, exclusive webinar for trucking businesses that you can join, where you can learn, and I will literally show you how to find over 218 truck drivers in less than 48 hours without using job sites, recruitment agencies, marketing agencies, or offering any kind of sign-on bonuses ever again. So we always get packed. 
on this webinar there's always we always run out of room so the link is also beneath the video to go and register for the webinar it's happening live this week so i'll see you there if you enjoy the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time Oh,